2019. 2019 was a year for FNAF. It was low in terms of popularity, but stuff still happened regarding FNAF during that. A VR game, an AR game, short novels, even a sequel to Freddy in Space. Scott is always up to something. With these projects coming out in 2019, there has also been some FNAF fan games as well. Some are bad, some are just meh, some are awful. Then there are the good and great ones we shall explore today. I present to you the top 5 FNAF fan games from 2019. Keep in mind this is my personal opinion, so that means I'll probably be different from yours. There will also be an honorable mention section too where I talk about certain games. Without a third that are due, let's get straight into the list. Number 5, Mac Tonight, 2nd Anniversary Edition. Remember that moon with the sunglasses that used to advertise McDonald's? Oh yeah, right, he's a meme. But have you ever just heard of him? Well, he's been getting a FNAF fan game series about him ever since 2017, which this game celebrates the series' 2 year anniversary. In this one, you're playing in the same McDonald's as the original Mac Tonight 1, but with much better and improved visuals. There's one night of the main game, where the first three hours are, are semi-story based, while the rest of the time, you're in a stall in a bathroom. How fun. But seriously though, the stall section is one of the most original things I've seen in a FNAF fan game. Yes, I get it, it's a simple click and click gameplay scenario, but the visuals and expression of the section makes up for its rather dull gameplay. Then, after you beat that, you get a custom night unlocked, which you must beat each max mode with another character added to get a new character unlocked. Some of the mechanics within this night portions, like the new window spraying mechanic and Speedy's type in the pad mechanic, this game is so unique and is a great way to celebrate the second anniversary of the Finance with Max and Night fan game franchise. Number four, Freddy to Pizza Dwarfita. Freddy, wait, to Pizza Dwarfita. Freddy, okay. I'm trying to say the name of the game gives me severe problems. Besides that, oh boy, the originality in this game is just so great. If you guys didn't know, there was a game jam from the FNAF Reddit being hosted on Game Jolt, and this fan game was made for it. Sadly, this didn't win the game jam, but want to know what it lost to? It lost to a freaking meh pixel remake of FNAF 1 with not much unique changes to make it different from FNAF 1. I swear, how rigged these contests are. Anyway, back to the list. This game is actually so unique and different that it puts you in the shoes of a new employee to Freddy's in the day trying to make a good first impression. The game itself is really cool with interesting ways into making the pizza to serve the fellow customer. The dialogue in the game is great, like the no swearing rule for employees, the back and forth dialogue, and much more. There's also cameos for Nixon and Emil Mako in the game too. If I had any criticisms for this game, it would be that there should have been more added in the game, like possibly a few more days or maybe even much more dialogue with Freddy, but I do understand this was made for a game jam, and you guys know that they need to be kinda short for time purposes, so yeah. Otherwise, I highly recommend this game. <laughs> Number 3, Five Nights with Bud Rebooted. I already made a video re reviewing this game a while back, so this will kind of be short, but I do love this game. If you don't know, this is a fan game about the YouTuber The Next Genius. If you watch his videos, this game has everything down perfectly from 2013, but to demonetization jokes and much more. Where this game really shines, however, is the originality. This is actually one of the most original FNAF fan games I've ever seen. 
The gameplay has really cool and different mechanics that are specific to the character like Winston needing to be sprayed, 2013 Bud needing his truffles, and to even finishing the freaking Big Saber round for Pigsty. The story is also so original too because this is the type of story that fits for being a FNAF fan game about a YouTuber. The story is that you're playing as a hater of Bud's channel and you have to try and delete videos from his channel. This spaces up the fan games a bit. Also, the dialogue from the phone guy, the Skype cutscenes after each night, to even when Bud takes over the phone on night 6 are really hilarious. This is an underrated gem too. If you haven't tried this out, be sure you do. You won't regret it. Also, just as a reminder, there will be downloads to the games in the video in the description if you want to check them out. Number 2, Jollibees. Oh boy, a spin-off from the Jolly series, but this time, it's about the original source. Yes, this is a FNAF fan game by Ivan G, based off of the Jollibees restaurant from the Philippines. Jollibee and the crew come after you when you decide to take the night shift at their restaurant. Now, let me just say this. This game gets really creepy. Like, really, really creepy. That is the number one thing this game does well, in my opinion. For the human models, the looks they give is really disturbing and off, and it makes you question why you're taking the night shift there in the first place. Also, remember that After Night made a game where you hide under the table and that girl animatronic looks down at you? Her movements just look horrifying. Stay back, you! I'll stop, I'm unfunny. I know. Anyway, another thing this game does well is that the lore behind it. The game opens up with the place having food poisoning and the endings present themselves pretty well. The lore is really interesting to invest in and it is almost as interesting as the FNAF lore. Also, you gotta admit, the ads that play on the camera monitor are cool and creative. I recommend Jollibees for the horror it brings to the table, the intriguing story, and memorable gameplay. I seriously cannot wait for Jollibees Phase 2. Now, we do have some honorable mentions. These are other FNAF fan games that released in 2019 that I wanted to take the time to talk about. These will be quick, however, since these are not entries on the list. Honorable mention number one, Project Rejusted 2. This is a FNAF fan game made by Mech and is the sequel to the original Project Rejusted. It has cool and improved graphics, original gameplay that keeps you into the game, and every idea going into the game is praiseworthy. Consider this game as your spiritual number 6. Honorable mention number 2, Eddie and the Misfits. After a lot of waiting, the full Eddie and the Misfits game released in November of 2019. The graphics and visuals are really well done that brings an ominous feel with very cool mechanics and gameplay with a lot added into the game to make it feel like a very big game. Overall, I recommend this game so much for you to play. Consider this as your spiritual number 7, I guess. Honorable mention number 3, The Fredbear Archives. Oh man, this game. This game has so much to talk about even though I cannot talk about it that much due to time constraints. This is meant to be a continuation from Fred Baron Friends, the other game by, made by the same dev whose name is hard to pronounce. The graphics are the best part of the game, but the gameplay is the worst part. The brighting in the game is really dark and it helps make up the horror atmosphere of the game. Although the gameplay is very broken, well at least Lefty's broken. Just look at this clip from my video on the game. Is this game good? Oh! 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 I- Bro! Yeah, he's kind of a mess. Honorable mention number four. Fred Spy, Tekken Sons Lumber Co, and FNAF Pocket Horror. Yes, I included three games into one slot, but these three games I need to talk about at once because they all face the same fate. 
These three games are praised as being good FNAF fan games and some of the best of 2019, but honestly, in my opinion, all three of them are just mediocre. Let me explain. Let's start with Fred Spy. The gameplay idea of searching for stuff in a FNAF setting is actually a great idea and is really unique. It reminds me of the I Spy books from when I was a kid. Hell, even the graphics are extremely well done. But the gameplay in Final Executions is really flawed and poorly done. Also, the ending's stupid since it's technically nothing. Tekken Sun's Lumber Co. gets really boring and confusing at moments, and honestly, the graphics are pretty stale. Like, really stale. But, however, the ideas going into the game are good ideas, and it has a decent story, so I cannot give it the bad game of the game. Finally, FNAF Pocket Horror, aka the game that robbed Freddy Pizzeria. Freddy Pizza. No, no, we're not wasting time with that again. At the Freddy Game Jam. It's so stupid this game of anything won the Game Jam. Why is it stupid? It's because this game is not even good. It's literally FNAF 1 but 8 bit. I do love the 8 bit graphics, but nothing new was really done with this. It's just FNAF 1 once again. It would have been at least a good game if more content was added in the game and wasn't just a remake. Those are the honorable mentions out of the way. Here's the number one pick. Number one, Find It to Candy's Remastered. You guys knew what was gonna be number one, the remastered version of the original Find It to Candy's by Emil Mako. Now, what can I say about this game that hasn't already been said? Well, here's what I think of the game. This game is a masterpiece. The graphics and little visuals are really incredible. The models from Old Candy to Shadow Candy just look like a lot of effort was put in and the locations have huge appeal. Also, the game story is just so addicting and a wonder to discover. The gameplay is simple, but honestly, that has a huge FNAF charm in, in it and not a FNAF 3 charm. And that's a good thing. Even the new content in the game like the Shadow Candy Knight were great additions because of the original gameplay that was offered there. Also, the game makes you want to discover the secrets within it, just like FNAF 1. Please play this game. This was something special to me, and hopefully it will be special to you if you play it. You know when Emil delayed this game for two weeks to put all the time and effort in the game, it really shows in this game. This game right here is exact proof to why delaying games ends up working at the end and results in a better game. Just like Scott Cawthon, Emil Mako is a game developer who is inspirational, has limits to his games to better them, and overall is a decent man. I highly recommend this game. I really, really do. Well folks, those were in my opinion, the top 5 best FNAF fan games to come from 2019. I seriously hope FNAF 9 and other FNAF fan game projects like Jollibee's Face 2 end up being good. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. In the description below where there are the download links to the games talked about in this video, my Discord server, my Twitter, my Instagram, Tyler Extras, and the server just my Minecraft Java server. See you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.